Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So like always, I like to show you guys the wig that I will be working with before I get started on the actual title of the video. Uh, so this wig is from Wild African and it is a 360, 180 density deep wave wig that is pre-plucked. I have all the information plus coupon codes down below for you guys. But I went ahead and bleached the knots and I washed it and I wanted to show you guys what it looked like before um, I did anything to it and after I washed it so you can see what it looked like wet um, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this method so I'm gonna actually be quiet for the rest of this video and let you guys see um, exactly what I'm doing and then at the end I'm going to go in detail and share my thoughts with you guys so keep watching and look forward to the end because I have a surprise for you guys Okay, so I actually lied. I'm gonna chime in and tell you guys a few things that I would do different. And this is the first one. So I would actually sew the cap down first before I cut it. Um, but this was my first time doing this method and I was watching a video and kind of winging it to make it uh, my own. But at the end, I did um, figure out a few things that would be a little bit better. Another thing that I would do different is these two uh, knots right here. I actually put them a little bit too close to the front and I'll show you guys um, in a bit what I mean by this but I will actually move these back a little bit further.
Okay, next thing. For this part, I'm not sure if you actually need both the free spray and the gel. I was just trying to be a little bit cautious because this was my first time and I was scared and I wanted to make sure that this thing was not going to move. Um, and then you want to make sure that you leave a little bit of space in the front. Uh, like don't completely cover the lace because you're going to need that part to actually tack down to your forehead. And a step that I skipped before this part is before you tack it down, you actually want to make sure that your uh, wig cap is the correct color, whether that means that you get a darker one or that you put the powder on the wig cap before you actually sew it down. Oh, and this little part right here, right there, that's where that knot is that I said I wish I would have moved back a little bit further. Okay love, so I am back and I have the wig on and right now it looks so good <laughs> um, following this method. I actually did this method following Miss Precious Marie's video. I'll go ahead and leave her video down below because um, actually one of you guys had left this in my comments a while back. Uh, one of you guys was like, hey, have you ever tried to sew the actual wig cap onto the actual wig instead of doing the other stocking cap method where you um, put the stocking cap on, do the free spray, and then cut that thick band off? Um, and I'm like, oh no, I never, never thought about it. So I looked it up, and the only video I found was from Miss Precious Marie. Um, and I don't know if it's Marie or Maria, um, but I'll leave it down below. Sorry if I'm butchering your name, but I actually been following her for a long time. I don't know how I missed this video, but she's the only person with a video like this that I've seen. Um, so as I was doing this for you guys, I was following her video step by step. Um, and one thing that I did miss was putting the powder on top of the, um, of the wig cap before I sold the wig cap on to the wig so let me tell y'all what I did so when I did that because I didn't see her do it in the video but I could have missed it because I was doing it and watching it at the same time so I was mostly listening and I didn't see her say put the powder on the wig y'all and I didn't do it so after I sewed it in I thought I was gonna come and put this wig on just like this and be like hey y'all this is bomb I did it Mm -mm. No, it did not happen. Um, so I don't remember if I recorded this or not because I feel like I was like in total shock when I looked at the camera like what the heck. Um, but it totally looked like there was like, I don't know, it just looked, it looked like a wig and it looked like I just set it on top of my head because the wig cap was so light and I don't know if it's because I got a tan or what. But the wig cap was so light, it looked like, like a ghost. I don't know, it looked like something was chilling under my wig. So I had to take it off, and then I forgot that I, ouch, I forgot that I tacked down the sides right here, because that's what she did in her video. So I couldn't peel the wig cap all the way off. I just had to wet it a little bit to loosen up the free spray so I could peel that part off. And then I took my powder, and I like tucked it under there, and put it on the wig cap, and then it came out like this. So, if you have that weird ghost looking cast under there, I know I said it before in my videos, I don't know how I missed, oh I do know how I missed this step because I was so focused on her video that I totally forgot that those wig caps are too light for me. Um, so yeah, color your wig cap with your powder foundation. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys? Oh, I didn't put anything in this hair besides this, the new Shea Moisture. I don't know if this is in stores yet. Focus y'all, focus. Okay, yeah, so this, this leave-in is bomb. Not even just for wigs, but for your natural hair. I'm gonna do a video on it soon if you guys wanna see. Um, but yeah, this whole line is bomb. This is the only thing I put in this hair. I let it air dry and then I combed it out with my hands like this to get it all big like this. Um, what else? Hmm. This method also was a little weird on the sides, as you guys can see, which is why I got the hair down. Um, and she mentions that in the video because she said that her sides rarely show, as do mine. You guys know I always wear parts. Um, so if you wear parts, then you, you don't really have to worry about the sides like that. But if you guys can see, like, the sides, um, the wig cap kept doing something weird over here. I'm not really sure. And this side is a little bit better. And then if you guys can see, I didn't powder this side because it's tacked down right here. And you see how ashy that is? I put a little bit on top, a little bit more on top so I can try to camouflage it. But you see this part is way darker than this part. And that's because I took this apart 
and I put the powder on the wig cap, but I couldn't get this part apart because I had tacked it down right there. So that's what I was talking about when I said it looked like, I don't know, like it just, it's too light skin. Um, so yeah, uh, what else can I tell you guys about this method? Hmm, I think I said everything. So yeah, if you guys wanna see like actual methods of like how I pluck the wigs and how I bleach my knots and how I put the wigs on, um, then I will leave helpful videos down below. I made a playlist for you guys um, that has like a list of the videos that I think are the most helpful, especially for beginners. Um, okay, and lastly you guys, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway, but this time you guys know I usually do it here on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna do it actually on my Instagram. So if you have Instagram, go ahead and follow me. It's lovely Brianna. Um, I'm going to be posting all the details very soon, but the giveaway is going to end March 28th, and we're gonna announce the winner on March 30th, and one of you guys are gonna be able to pick for my wig collection, and you're gonna get that wig. So you're not gonna get my wig, um, you're gonna get a brand new one of whatever wig you see that's on my little page on Wild African. I have like, I don't know, maybe like 22, 23 wigs that you guys can choose from. Um, and one of you guys are gonna get that. So go ahead and head to my Instagram page. I'll leave that down below and you guys will find all the details there. I'll also leave the details in the description box. If you guys don't have Instagram, don't worry because I know a lot of people are like, but I don't have Instagram because I'm still going to do more giveaways and I'm actually going to start giving away uh, some of my older wigs. Um, so yeah, you guys stay tuned for that and yeah, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.